full stop Can't believe I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time Morning, evening and midnight Such a wonderful delight Welcome back to the channel and welcome if you're new. Today's video is going to be kind of like a summer decor haul, really decor just in general. You can use this throughout the year, but a lot of pieces have been inspired for summer. You're gonna see a lot of blues, a lot of creams, a lot of just brown colors and neutrals. So super excited about today's haul. Can't wait to share it with you guys. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. I'm Ava. I love sharing all things home over here from shopping videos to decorating to a little bit of cleaning and organizing. So if you like that type of content, definitely would love for you to stick around. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started into today's haul. All right, so I've been super excited to share all of the pieces from today's video with you guys. I could not wait. I really love all the nice warm textures and colors. I'm gonna start here with greenery. You guys know that we did a shot with me at Hobby Lobby, Kirkland's, and at home recently. So if you haven't checked out those videos, I will leave them listed in the description box below. At Hobby Lobby, I picked up a few things at Kirkland's and at home. I didn't really pick up anything. Just wanted to kind of go in store, see what I liked. Didn't want to buy anything off of Impulse. And then in the next few weeks, we're going to be doing a little bit of thrift shopping together. We're going to see if we can find some things and do some DIY. So stay tuned for all of that. But let's go back to Hobby Lobby for a minute. In that video, I shared with you guys that I purchased this little stool right here or plant stand the way it calls it. But absolutely love this. Now what I got to go on top and I can't say that this is the plant to go on top that I'm going to use but this just kind of gives you an idea of some things that I'm going to be doing with this. Now I could get a planner to go with this um, but I picked this up from Target recently. It was five dollars from the Threshold brand from Studio McGee. So you can't beat that for five dollars. You get a cute little plant and then you can just add in or insert it into any planner of your choice. So now that's my next step is finding that planner, which brings me to the reason of why I wanna go thrift shopping. When you're thrift shopping, you can find some really good planners, usually for cheap sometimes. So wanna check out Goodwill, wanna check out some vintage stores and see what I can find to insert this little baby into. But in the meantime, I definitely can see me using it on top of this, either in the kitchen, a bathroom, or even the living room area. I also shared this plant as well. It is from Studio McGee. It was $15 when I purchased it. And we've already decorated this during our Easter decorate, but this is still a great piece to use if you're still decorating for spring. I don't plan on using these lavender colors as we go into the summertime, but I still, this is still a great idea. I just wanted to show you guys what it would look like on this tool. So I think it's really cute and definitely gives a lot of character to any space. So that's that kind of gives you an idea of like a more fuller plant. All right, next up are these two faux plants. They are by Hearth and Hand. They are absolutely adorable. For both of these, they were $9.99. They do sell them individually. So you can get the, if you just want one, it's $4.99, but why not for $9.99? I thought they were so adorable multiple uses for this. You can use this on a tiered tray. You can use this in your kitchen, in your bathroom. Also, if you have open shelves, these will be great for that. I know we wanna add some open shelves in our kitchen area, and we even wanna do some op more open shelving in our living room area. So when I think about that, these will be just great little greenery to add into that space as a filler. So I thought $9.99 for both of these were excellent. So we are in the process of looking for like a bookshelf or a bookcase. And I wanted to tell you guys that before I show you the next piece of decor, um, I'm just trying to find the right one. So soon we'll be going to Ikea. And I've kind of, I kind of have my eye on just a few of their bookcases and shelves. But then I've been looking on online and I've seen like some designer inspired pieces. I really don't want to spend that much money on. I don't have the budget for that. Um, but then I've also been thinking about thrifting and I'm like, okay, maybe I can DIY a book case or shelf to make it to what I want to be or what I want it to be. Because we would like to put it in this living room area or in our dining room 
some area, but it just has to be the right shape. It has to be the right size. If you're new here, you guys know that I don't have a lot of square feet to work with. So I try to be really creative with the space that I have. But anyway, I wanted to share that because the next piece is y'all know I love my decorative objects and this is one of them that I've added kind of to my collection. I've had my eye on this now at Target for a little while and I've just kind of scrolled over it um, and looked back and forth. But I'm really glad that I picked this up because it can go in multiple different ways throughout any room in the house. So I definitely can see it in our living room area on our wall unit that we already have. But then I can also see it in our front entryway and I would love to decorate it with um, with it in that bookcase that I was mentioning. I, would, I can definitely see it on top of some books or just, you know, you could do so much with this piece. So decorative objects like this are really, really great to have in your stash. You could always pull it out at any time of the year. It's a great neutral color. It can go with any season. So definitely, definitely a really good buy and it gives just a really unique finish to your added on decor. So love that. This piece was $25, so not bad at all. Speaking of those added on pieces of decor, how adorable. You guys know I love these little shapes. This comes in two different sizes from Studio McGee. This one was $10 and the next size up is just a little bit bigger. Now you guys know that I purchased bigger ones from H&M and I even share it with you guys in the community tab. I try to when they go on sale. The prices on those faces are absolutely phenomenal. So hands down go with H&M. However, there um, are times when I'm decorating like a tiered tray and I just want to add on a little piece of decor or even like a smaller floating shelf so I thought this would be absolutely adorable for that and then you could just add in any greenery or you can leave it as is for ten dollars not bad while I've shared these already, I wanted to share these again with you guys just in case if you missed that video. This is um, some cute little mugs that I also picked up from Target. I love the uh, blue striping that you can see the vertical blue striping. I think these are absolutely perfect for the summer. They still give a warm, neutral tone to it. I can definitely see adding some yellows. Um, but yeah, this will be great for my mug tree. So super excited about that. And I love to have a cup of tea at night. I'm a big coffee drinker and I've kind of been trying to pull away from that, especially at night. Like usually I'll do a decaf cup of coffee at night but I've been trying to drink more tea. I like to have something sweet and I can't really have that. You guys know I'm on a health journey, so I can't really have like a lot of sweet stuff, but that little cup of tea um, kind of fulfills that sweet tooth. So this would be perfect for my tea. All right, before we get into throws and baskets and pillows, I do have one more decorative object to show you guys. And that is this little round piece right here, this marble dish. Hope you guys can see that beautiful color on that. This is absolutely stunning. I've also had my eye on this piece now for a little bit. It is from Studio McGee and I went ahead and bit the bullet because like I said, we're thinking about either getting a bookcase or DIYing. I don't know. You guys are going to come along on that journey with me. But once we get that or even before we do, I can definitely see this either in our bedroom or our front entryway. So definitely got some cute ideas for this. And I love to see people style this on Instagram or any other places. But love, love, love this piece so much that you can do with that. If you have been looking in this as you go into Target and kind of considering on getting this, then in some upcoming videos, I'm gonna show you different ways that you can style this. So stay tuned for that. If you kind of been thinking about getting it, but holding off on that, I'll show you some different ways that we can style this piece. And since I showed you guys this little stool from Hobby Lobby, you guys saw this in my Hobby Lobby shot with me video. I also wanted to show you guys again, this piece as well. I am still loving it can't wait to put it up and this piece some of you guys said that I should get two so we're gonna go back into Hobby Lobby I think I will grab one more but cannot wait to decorate with that I definitely love the dried florals right now this is in I've even seen um this comes in black as well I haven't seen it in my store but I do know it comes in black so we'll take a look at that if, if we go in store again but love this piece can't wait to decorate with it Thank you. 
Moving on to throw blankets. So throw blankets are a great way to accessorize any type of room or space if you're looking to transition from one season out to the other and really not change much decor but you still want to add in hints of that season then throw blankets and pillows are the way to go so this is the throw blanket that i picked up from studio mcgee of course and absolutely love it you know i'm a fan of studio mcgee so don't be surprised that you're seeing a lot of those pieces in today's haul um but yeah this piece is just a blue throw i also mentioned to you guys that i wanted to add in more blues for the summertime so this is just a great addition to that i feel like with the color it's still kind of muted it doesn't like scream blue but it's very just a nice very muted color and i really really love it can't wait to add it to the end of our bed and style our bedroom for summer it's also not too big not too thick so it won't be um too overly hot for the summertime it does say that this throw blanket is machine washable on the delicate cycle separately so that is a plus you just have to be mindful about the pulling i'll be very careful with this because these have have a tendency to pull or get kind of furry however this one i've seen nothing but great reviews online so super excited to try it out next up is this throw that i picked up from the hearth and hand collection and it's more like a very very soft linen material you guys can see it's a neutral color it has like browns and creams and it's just got that horizontal stripe, just a few of those every so often in it. So I thought this would go gray on our blanket ladder. Um, you can use this and drape it over a couch. You could use this in your baskets and your front entryway, which is what I'm about to show you guys next. But yeah, I really, really like this. At first I was kind of debating back and forth if I was gonna keep this or not. I just wasn't 100% sold on it. But since I've taken it out of the ball that it was in i definitely love the colors and just the neutral aesthetic so also in the summertime you don't want anything that's too thick it's already hot enough but sometimes you still want something to pull over you at night as you watch a movie so i thought this would be perfect for that which is why we're going to leave it in the living room area definitely thought this would be perfect for that all right, next up is pillows. You guys know I love, love, love throw pillows. Got some really, really pretty ones to show you guys. And I'm gonna start off with my favorite one. All right, starting off with this one from, you can see me right here, <laughs> from Studio McGee. It's this beautiful Euro pillow right here. I love the soft muted blue there, the horizontal stripes. You could even switch it up and make it vertical, whatever you wanna do. It does have a zipper where you can take the cover off and wash it. The material on it is like a linen, thicker linen material. Um, it's not too thin, it just is such a great material to it i feel like um and the quality on it is amazing it's soft it's plush i absolutely love 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 this pillow i love it more than i thought i would i also love the sides um we love these size pillows in our living room area i love to decorate my couches with this 24 by 24 size that target offers so yeah love that now let me just add I like to chop my pillows now and this is not a choppable pillow so if you're a chopper this is not a choppable pillow however what you can do is get some inserts you want to get some really good quality inserts and that's what I'm looking for next and you can change out your insert um, to you know a bigger one and so in this case this is 24 by 24 size I would suggest and I've read this and and looked at this in other places but I would suggest getting a larger insert because you can see that this has the 24 by 24 insert in there there's still room up here so if you want it to be just nice thick and plush actually go with a size up on your insert and then plush it all the way in there zip that bad boy up and then give it a good chop and it's going to give a really nice thick chunky chop so just tip on that nice little chop tip on that and insert tip but yeah love this pillow looking for the right inserts once i find them i will let you guys know but looking for some new inserts to put in there if you guys have some good inserts leave them in the comments below because i'm on the hunt for some 
also picked up this pillow from hearth and hand i really do feel like i showed you guys this pillow in a shot with me maybe and told you guys that i was considering on picking this up and so glad i did definitely love the detailing on the sides it's not too much so i don't feel like this would get stuck in the wash machine and kind of look raggedy once i washed it but really love the color on this now the camera is not doing this justice so when you see this in person it's actually like a darker linen um but yeah it still blends really really well with um whatever pillows you may be using and it's okay to mi mix and match on your pattern so you have this pattern i think i might use um i doubt i'll use this one i probably would pair it up with a solid one and then maybe like a floral lumber so you know we're gonna play around with patterns while we're decorating but i've got a little variety to play around with love this one this is also a pillow from studio mcgee as well you can make it horizontal if you want to you can make it vertical this is great in my opinion for your entryway your bedroom you can actually mix and match on your pillows this size is an 18 by 18 18. it does have the cover that can be removed i believe yes you can remove the cover and wash this you can also change your insert because again if you're a chopper these pillows aren't choppable so if you want something where you can chop it then just order the inserts and you can replace your inserts and keep the same style um, pillow all right the last pillow that i will show you guys and i kind of debated if i was going to show it to you in this video or when i do our outdoor video but i wanted to go ahead and show you this one now there are going to be some other pillows that you'll see for outdoor in that one but this is one that i got from walmart you guys amazing prices on walmart absolutely love everything that i saw out there um and i did get some footage for you guys so i will we'll try to share that with you next week but yeah got this pillow you can put it any way you can put it this way or that way the quality on this is amazing it is an outdoor pillow so i plan to use this outside when i kind of clean up out there and get it all ready to lounge and ready for the summertime but going with this style for the summertime outside and then yeah i'm gonna mix and match on pillows this one was 15 dollars all right, last up for this haul is some of my favorites. I have been looking at some baskets. I've been looking at like a variety of baskets. One, I wanted to get the right price, the right style. Um, we are considering changing out our entryway table. We want to make it like a little bit more modern. Right now, the one that we have is Farmhouse, and I love Farmhouse. So I don't think I'm going to get rid of it. I may sell it. I may not. But for the time being, the baskets that I picked up will go with the entryway table that we have now, as well as potentially a newer one. So let me show you. I got two of these bad boys. They are really, really pretty. You guys can see how deep they are so so much that i can do with these and i'm slowly but surely adding in more of these brown wooden textures to my home and just more baskets i feel like they just add to this space they add character to this space and they really fill the space so i went with two now here's what i will tell you guys when you're buying these in store be very very careful as you're buying these i ordered mine online and as a pickup so you can see that there's a difference on the handles of these look at this handle and look at that handle and right now they're all sold out i don't know if they're going to be sold out as of the date that this video comes out um but i'm still waiting I really want to keep these baskets. I don't want to trade them out for anything else. Um, I do have my eye on one other style basket. So if I do, I may trade it out. It's like $10 more. These are $30 and that one is $40. So we shall see. But that was my only mishap with the baskets. It's just the difference in these handles. So I don't really know if that's noticeable to change it. But I love these baskets. Love the style. And I think the price on them was absolutely excellent you can add in a pillow inside um you can add in a throw blanket over you can add in florals on the top there's so many things that you can do with these you can also use these for holding your yoga mat, your, your yoga mat so speaking of which i'm going to show you guys a yoga mat i grabbed but yeah love 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 these baskets 
All right, this is super random, but I thought I would show it to you guys anyway. Y'all know that I've been in the middle of my health journey and I, I, honestly, I'm really at the start of it because this health journey is going to be a long one, just trying to be a healthier version of myself, trying to shed some pounds in the process. So I really want to get back into yoga. I used to do yoga all the time after I had my second daughter and I just got out of it. Of it. You know how life goes. So I picked up a yoga mat this one is purple and i got it from um marshall's it was 9.99 they had all different sizes and all different prices but marshall's and home goods they are one of the best places to get your yoga mats for um a super affordable budget friendly cost so if you're looking for a brand new yoga mat definitely i'm sure y'all know this but definitely check out marshall's the prices on them are absolutely phenomenal 9.99 also, while I was in store, I grabbed a running cap. Y'all know it's the summertime, so definitely gonna need these to block out some sun. And I didn't wanna spend too much, so this one was $7.99. And I really love the fact that this cap is breathable. So great for that. I'm gonna be doing some hiking this summer with my sister and my dad. And I just wanted to add on to some caps. So definitely grab me one of those. I love my baseball cap, so these are perfect. And last but not least, I picked up one of these squeeze and pour lemon holders or majiggers things. Anyway, um, I like to drink lemon water every morning and so this is perfect for that. The price on this was $2.99 at Marshalls. I feel like they are cheaper when you go into Marshalls than when you buy them on Amazon. So if I can find one for the same price, I'll try to link that. But um, yeah, just check out Marshalls when you're in store if you're looking for one of these. All right, you guys. Well, that just about sums it up for today's summer decor haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you got some ideas. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and choosing this video to watch. Coming up next, I'm going to be sharing more home decor with you guys. I had a some decor that was coming in from H&M and it totally missed it for today's video. I wanted to share that with you today, but I will share it with you guys next week because it hasn't gotten here yet. They had a sale going on this past weekend of 20% off. So I picked up some really, really cute finds that I can't wait to share with you. Also, I wanted to ask you guys, I know y'all love these shot with me videos that I share over here on my channel. And I wanted to know in the comments if you guys would like to see one consistently every week, perhaps on maybe like Fridays where there's a shot with me. Um, it could be Fridays at Target. It could be any store. You guys name it. Let me know in the comments if that's something that you would like to see um, just consistently. And I would love to share that. Also, I'd like to know one other thing. I'm, I'm putting the questions out to you guys. So I hope you guys don't mind answering. I wanted to share a Mother's Day gift guide. So if you guys have are stuck on like any ideas of what to get for your mom or what to ask for or even what to get for like friends or family and just wanted a fun, nice, affordable, budget-friendly gift guide, let me know. I can put that up before Mother's Day. I would love to share that with you. You know I'm a mom, so I'm already planning for what I want, um, but would love to share some ideas or even things that's on my list. All right, you guys, well, that is officially everything. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Bye guys.